just got lucky because I'm about to give you five very fun St. Patrick's Day games for kids. Now our first game is called Bet Your Luck. And with this game, every child will need to cut out their own shamrock. This also helps increase their fine motor skills. Anyways, once every child has a shamrock, what children will do is go ahead and guess and predict their favorite three numbers and put those numbers in the three leaves. Now, you get to choose if you want children to play with one dice, meaning the numbers they're choosing have to be between the numbers one and six, or if you want children to play with two dice, they get to choose the number two through 12. Clearly, two dice is gonna be a little bit harder. Now, once your child has a cut up shamrock and they have their dice, they are ready to bet their luck. Children will start to roll their dice to see if they actually wrote the number that they wrote on their shamrock. Give children a number to aim for and every time they roll their lucky number on their shamrock, they will get a point and their goal is to try to make it to your lucky number. Now you can even make this game a little bit more challenging if you tell children that they have to find numbers that are more or less than the number that they just rolled. Now our next game is called Test Your Luck and just like the last game, you can play with just one player. With this game, you will get on Crowd Party app. I love Crowd Party, y'all. So children are gonna have to see if they are smarter than a fifth grader. When you get on Crowd Party app, you'll see the Are You Smarter Than a Fifth Grade game right there at the top under Feature Games. Children will actually go through that game and see if they're actually smarter than a fifth grader. Hence, test your luck. If you want to play this game with more than 10 people, you will need a subscription. Don't worry. I actually have a coupon code down below in the description. Make sure you check that out. Now our next game is called Lucky Me. Now with this game, all children playing will need their own deck of cards. What you will secretly do is pull out one card from the deck. If you're playing this with more than one child, you'll make sure you pull out this same card in every player's deck of cards. Children will try to see exactly how fast they can figure out which card you pulled out the deck. Let's see how lucky they really are. Don't you guys just love my St. Patrick's Day wand? Now our next game is an oldie but goodie, but if you're like me, you like to do things that are just a little bit over the top. So go ahead and grab all the really cool green things you could possibly find and go ahead and spread them all around the room and have children play I Spy. Now in the St. Patrick's Day version of I Spy, you will pick one of the green objects and children will have to guess to figure out if they can find which green object you are referring to. Once a child figures out what you're talking about, then it's their turn and they get to eye spy another green object. Now, before we get into our last game, if you're like me, then you love playing really fun and educational games with children. So you have to make sure that you get my free activity guide. I am giving you three really fun educational games that you can play with for any age, any child, and any standard. Winning! In addition to those three free games, I'm also giving you a really fun and free icebreaker. So make sure you download that down below in the description. And how could I forget? I never introduced myself. Hey, fun people, welcome to Everything Aja. If you're new here, hi, my name's Aja. Now here on Everything Aja, I help provide instructional support by making teaching as simple, fun, and strategic as possible. So if this sounds like you, then hit that subscribe button. Now we're on to our last game. I love a good game of Jeopardy! And coming in at game number five, we have the St. Patrick's Day Jeopardy! game. Now I have the link down below in the description. All you have to do is click it and bring up this really fun St. Patrick's Day Jeopardy! game. Children will simply choose a category and point and they will have to figure out the question that gives them the answer on the screen. For every correct question, they get a point. Now if they miss it, if they miss it now, go ahead and subtract those points. Now having St. Patrick's Day games is all fun and all, but if you don't have games for every other day of the week, then you need to watch this video where I give you some really fun icebreakers for kids.